Hello everyone, this is Troy Kostasik for Exploreminate, bringing you another episode of Let's Try Predestination. If you remember, in our last episode, I was about to start some combat, and then I thought better of it because I was outnumbered pretty bad, so I came back here to my home system and decided to put a couple ships in the queue. I've got a beam cruiser and a beam frigate We're getting ready to be built. And as you can see in the upper right hand corner, I'm at negative income once again. Happens a lot in this game. So let's see if we can't fix that. And uh, see if we can increase our income. I got a city here. It's. The population is not growing. I need more food. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up this city to where it'll grow and it'll start producing some cash for me. So, let's add another hydroponic farm right there. And we're going to need metal. So, let's do an ore refinery. Okay, that'll get me quite a bit of ore. I hope I have enough metal left over to do everything I want to do. Then we're going to do a couple, let's see, solar power plants because you get 112 electricity out of the, a solar and only 70 out of wind on this planet. So we'll go with solar. And we'll do another solar. Okay, doesn't matter. And then we'll go in here and we'll build an energy market. And we're going to add a couple more housings and a couple more entertainment centers because morale is pretty low here 63%. That's bad for me. So, oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, back here. Go back to the planet. And let's see if we can't turn that negative income positive. Still at negative three. Ah, there we go. Positive income. Excellent. My ship should be ready soon. Oh, there they are. Excellent. Um, let's go here to Soros. Now, when I was, I was recording this episode just a little bit ago, and it crashed on me, like right in the middle of my recording. So this is actually a re-recording of, uh, of what I'm doing. Uh, you know, this is my second attempt. So if this game continues to crash on, on this, uh, little series of actions I'm taking. This might be the end of our Let's Try series. I didn't get an error window, it just crashed right to desktop, so who knows, it could have been something I did. But hopefully we'll be able to finish this out. I'm just preparing you that this could be the last episode. If it is, I hate that, but I have had a good time having you with me. So we've got the frigate left to go. And let's skip a few turns, see if we can get it built and not crash. Okay, didn't crash. Excellent. Alright, I'm going to select all ships here, and I'm going to send them to... Where is this? Where are we attacking? I'm having trouble remembering. Rex. That's what it is. Alright, nine turns. Oh, got some treasure. Uh, providing 122 research toward point defense laser. Excellent. Alright. Let's get these ships over there and see if we can't attack. I maybe should have built a colony ship too, because maybe I can take the planet. Oh well. If I beat his ships, then... We'll just see what happens. Alright, did my ships arrive? Alright, I've got two cruisers, three frigates, versus 
Uh, wow. Oh, she's bulked up too. She's added two more ships. Hmm, I do want to show combat, but I also don't want to lose. Well, let's build a couple more. Okay, I can build one more cruiser. And that's it. Okay, you, you see how quickly I've run out of metal? I'm going to need a uh, metal-making planet. Okay, overuse of pesticides again. I'll research... Oh, man, I'm almost out of money. This is not good. Not good at all. I could run out as soon as I get this ship built. I wonder if I lost some due to upkeep. Hope not. Let's send him to Rex and see if I go negative. I am going negative. Alright, I got 58 turns. Maybe I'll lose some ship it's ships in combat. And, um, my upkeeps will reduce. Alright, as soon as he gets there, we're going to try to attack those other ships. No matter... No matter what. We're doing combat. Alright, I've got three cruisers, three frigates, and a scout, which doesn't count for anything. She's got one cruiser and nine frigates. So I'm probably still going to lose, but oh well. Let's see what happens. Attack defending forces. Starbase battle station. Oh yeah, I'm going to lose bad. But let's just see what happens. Attack defending forces. Okay. Alright, we get some interesting sound effects here. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Kind of reminds me of some old Atari games. Okay, so we've got the battle board here. It's a rectangle. And as you can see, when I select a ship, I, okay, I have to move in certain order. Okay, you can see the gray hexes are where I can uh, move my ship to. I'm going to see if I can just draw a few of them uh, off with my scout. Maybe I can peel a few off and get them to chase him while I focus my fire here. So we're getting to see some actual combat. All right. Okay. No, I don't want to end turn. How do I make a uh, one of my ships go? How do I pass to the Oh, okay. Maybe I got to click this. Huh. No. That doesn't seem to be working either. Show enemy firing arcs. Okay, show friendly firing arcs. Alright. Um, hmm. Alright, I can turn the grid on and off if I want. I can add screen shake. Yeah, we'll do that. Center camera on active ship. Doesn't seem to be working. Maybe I don't have an active ship. I don't want to end the turn if I can move, but... Doesn't look like I can move any of my ships. Retreat, auto. I don't want to auto. At least want to try. Well, we'll end the turn and then see what happens. Maybe defenders get to move first. I don't know. Alright, so this is what they look like. They've got some shields, it would appear. And then can my... Units move, yeah. Alright, now my guys can move. Okay. Um. 
Am I only able to move one ship per turn? Okay, that's my firing arc. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that really makes sense as far as how to select the next ship. I mean, you know, in most games you just left click on them and then you can select your ship. But in this game, it doesn't appear you can do that. Ten megawatt laser pulse that uses highly focused beam. Okay, that's just left over from the um, tech tree. It's not telling me anything I don't already know. Hmm. I don't want to end the turn. Okay. All right. Okay, end turn just switches to my next ship. Oh, that's a weird way of doing it. Oh, these guys don't have any range. All right. Okay. I don't know. All right. Is that a missile or something? So I've got this jagged purple line there. Can you see it? It looks like it's coming from this cruiser over here. Not sure. Alright. We're going to move him kind of far out just to see if they'll chase him. Alright. End the turn. Alright, looks like we might be dealing with a fairly basic AI here in combat. They're just moving straight ahead. It's not necessarily too surprising here in the alpha version of the game. I really wish I could toggle between my ships or among my ships. That would make it nicer for sure. Especially if I want to move him first and then come back to him later. I can't go back. It's really a bummer. Alright. I'm not in their range yet. Okay. This, this scout has no <laughs> offensive capabilities at all. Just hoping to use him as a decoy. Oh, there. That's what it looks like when they shoot. it already. All right. Well, what have we got here? All right. Ah, just out of range when you know it. Okay, how do I attack? I think that thing's in range, isn't it? It's gotta be in range now. Okay. Okay, so that's how that works. Alright. Now whose turn is it? Oh, cool. 
that was a nice little shot. There, got one. Oh, they've got fighters. Okay. No, I didn't get to move all my ships. Why? Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna get crushed. That's alright, I'm way behind as far as technology goes. Alright. Let's... Let's work on taking some of these guys out. Really? <laughs> I have to. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't shoot him because all my firing arcs are facing forward. Alright. I can't rotate the ship either. Like, I can't pivot. That's crazy. Alright. Okay, so at least I drew their fighters away from my main fleet. Okay, I still can't move these. I didn't get to move him. Wonder why. Well, my upkeeps will definitely be lower after this. <laughs> definitely be lower after this. All right, so. Okay, I guess these ships aren't like my former ships. They're just ship corpses that hang around. Alright, where's my scout? Well, that went worse than I thought it was going to. Click shipwrecks to salvage. Oh, can I do that? Okay. Six metal. <laughs> Six metal. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well. That's what combat looks like in this game. And I guess I get a look at their planet. What's all this? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, back to the drawing board. I still don't have positive income. You'd think I'd lose all my ships. I'd have positive income. Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Let's give it a turn, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose my next tech, and then I'm going to let my funds build up quite a bit because I'm going to need some more money if I'm going to build a fleet large enough to take these guys out. So, research new thing. I don't think I really want to mess with nuclear weapons at the moment. That could be a mistake. Nuclear missile. Basic missile that deals 20 damage on impact impact the missile travels at six squares per turn has 24 power armor can be shot down mid-flight where does it originate from is that fired by a planet or by a ship I don't know it's not clear a nuclear fission bomb with a core of enriched uranium can only be launched at planets unlocks bomber frigate okay 
so that's a little bit more informational all right let's look at construction max that out uh, other than these two texts which I don't really care about seismic penetrators um get more ore that might be good oil drilling terraforming okay that terraforming is maybe not too bad training facility gives my guys more XP let's go with seismic penetrators let's do that and 50 turns I'm just gonna let that ride as soon as I remember to click the auto turn we're just gonna let that ride so we can build up some more uh, funds because I took a lot of money to build those ships and I lost them pretty fast so we're gonna do that and I guess when it comes to combat you really don't want to take a colony ship with you because then they're gonna be in the fight you might just want to bring them along and then maybe you can not select them when going into combat or just leave them in a nearby planet and then have them colonize later I don't know okay let's see what we got large deposit of uranium that's cool at Yifni. Wonder if I've got uh, energy market here. Okay, so that's the one where I was building the cash planet. I can maybe build a metal plant or a metal city here industrial city that's what that would be let's build an industrial city and then gotta build the basics um, Wow, that's going to break me. Hydroponic farm. Going to need more cash. Ugh. I didn't make a good decision. And I found a bunch of metal. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's build another solar... Oh, that's right, I've got it on auto turn. That's fine. I'm definitely going to just have to play the, the patient style game here where I just let the turns clip by, build up my resources, and, you know, just patiently try to compete with the AI who is much further along in her tech trees than I am in mine so we'll put a power plant here that should help I research that tech and let's get what's up here augmented engines, anti-missile beams, graviton sensors, fusion bombs, fusion drive, research lab tier 3. Mm. Let's do Let's do nuclear missiles. What have we got? Solar power, hydroponic farm. Let's build another solar power. And then wait for my money to recover.
And what I need to build next would be ore refineries. And that should really bring in a lot of metal. So I can start uh, rebuilding my fleet. Alright. Patience is paying off. More uranium on Yifni 4. Okay. Well, one more turn, we'll have our tech. There it is. Along with some other treasure. Uh. Yay! 249 credits, just what we need. Perfect. Alright, let's build the mass driver. I'm always reminded of uh, the episode in Babylon 5 where one of the space aliens uses mass drivers to end the war. It's an interesting commentary on the use of atomic weapons in World War II. Alright, let's see. We need some ore refineries, and we've got some nice places to put them. Just trying to see where it would be the best. And give me five hexes in the next one I could do something like like this which would also be five so two fives would be good hmm it won't let me not enough metal need more metal and more money they really gotta help rebalance the economy here. I don't know. I mean, I've got an insanely high tax rate, and I'm still having trouble accumulating funds. Whoops, that's a solar power plant. Don't want that. One in ore refinery, right? One, two, three, four, five, so. that there and then can we add another one here we can all right now I should have tons of metal I can save on this planet what's the energy like I'm producing 437 gigajoules surplus. That's awesome. But I'm still losing money. Which is totally not awesome. I'm going to take this off auto turn. See how long I lose money. See if it changes after a few turns. It's not changing. Well... I can build four planets here. I suppose that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's see. Um, I'll probably end up building a blank city and then building something like this city and just attach a bunch of solar power plants to it to try to make some money. How about we do that in the next episode? Sounds good to me. Uh, this has been Troy Kostasik for Explorminate. I want to thank you for joining me. It's been good having you on this Let's Try Predestination. Everyone, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.